welcome back to Online Sunday School. Happy Easter. Wishing you all a wonderful Easter today. This week, we want to wish a special happy birthday to Riley. So would you join with me in singing happy birthday to our friend Riley. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Riley. Happy birthday to you. Riley, we hope you have a wonderful birthday this week. And Delilah, we hope you had a great birthday last week. Well, this today we've got a, a great Easter story, one of the best stories there is. We've also got a fun music video singing Every Morning is Easter Morning, featuring our own Graham, featuring Lily and Jolene and Sophia and Ben. Well, with that, let's head on in for our story. Here's our story. The Empty Tomb. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Uh-oh, they had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening of the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. It was dark in there, brr. It was cold in there, drip, drop. It was damp in there. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Oof! Mary bumped into a man, tripped and fell on her feet, at his feet. Wait! She knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait! She knew that hand. She looked up. Yes, she knew that smile. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The women hugged his feet and shouted with joy. Go tell the others the good news. That I am alive, Jesus said. I will meet them in Galilee. I can't wait to see them again. The women had a new job to do. They had to tell everyone Jesus was alive. Every morning is Easter morning from now on. Every day is resurrection day. The past is over and gone. Goodbye, guilt, goodbye, fear, good riddance. Hello, Lord, hello, son. I am one of the Easter people. My new life has begun. Every 
morning is Easter morning from now on. Every day is resurrection day, the past is over and gone. Daily news is so bad, it seems the good news seldom gets heard. Get it straight from the Easter people, God's in charge, spread the word. Every morning is Easter morning from now on. Every day is resurrection day, the past is over and gone. Yesterday I was bored and lonely, but today you can see. I belong to the Easter people, life's exciting to me. Every morning is Easter morning from now on. Every day's resurrection day, the past is over and gone. Every day is Easter morning, every morning is Easter morning, every morning is Easter morning. Well, in our story today, we are reminded of Jesus' amazing love and grace. And that love and grace cannot be defeated by, not even by death, but it rises again. May we indeed, as the song we sang, be the Easter people, people who every morning make every morning Easter morning, every morning, every day, bring love and grace into the world. We'll know that we love you, and again, Happy Easter. See you next time. Thank you.